Hey Capricorn, how's it going? Welcome to September. It's been a wild ass ride, isn't it? Um, so I want to get into your month. It's going to be the same format as last month. I don't want to make these videos too long. We'll be having more videos and stuff. Definitely check me out on the socials if you haven't already. I'm trying to have fun on the internet. Ooh, buddy. This is true Capricorn fashion. All right. Looks like you might be chilling and preparing for something. Hmm. We'll get to it, though. All right. Going to do your giant tarot card to figure out what it is that you are working on this month or what's a major theme for you. Let's see. Oh, I lost it. I'm sorry. I thought that was the card. It wasn't the card. Hold up. Sorry if the noise bothers you. Okay. Eight of Wands. Ideas, communication, making movement, fast moves. Something may happen sooner than you think. So if you got something planned, um, it may happen sooner than what you originally had planned. So like, could be unexpected moves. I get unexpected, unexpected rapid movement. Boom. So shit, you know, if you planning. Because here's the thing, I got time for a nap, so you might have been, the other thing could be is that like you might be rushing or preparing for something and you need to rest. And then after that, it's clean it up. So it's like, yeah, you're, um, you might need to be balanced in your approach for getting ready for something. It could be that you're on this like push, pull, let's rush, let's hurry up type of thing because you feel like something's going to happen. And, or maybe you took too long to prepare for something and now it's like about to happen soon and it's almost like it snuck up on you. Huh. Woo, shit. Oh my God. Okay. Capricorn. This is your internal way of doing things, how you see things moving forward, your specific relationship with spirit or higher power. This is this power structure that like, it could be your family believes in something, your friends, it could be like your partner, but like basically these two energies are beefing hardcore. Y'all just like beating each other's ass this whole time, which is like crazy. They're equally as powerful, been around just as long, but just bossing on each other. The only difference is that it's like with you, you don't like the Hierophant is nothing if it doesn't have its followers, right? But what are you? Exactly. You don't you don't need nobody to agree with you. Damn, that's in true Capricorn fashion too. You don't need nobody to agree with you. But what they fighting about though? Clearly you're fighting with someone. You're fighting, you're beefing with somebody about like they think that like things are supposed to be a certain way. And you're like, nah, this shit is my way. Cause it involves me. Who Lord, they ain't never gotten to it with a Capricorn before. They should have just let that shit go. Okay, are you about to go in hot on this? Like, fuck it then, I'ma move. Are you like, do not, are you about to be like, you know what, try me. And then you blast off on their ass. And you're like, I'm, I'm sick of waiting for things to happen. So, yeah, shit, ooh. And it's in regards to home, damn. You said, fuck it, I'll go somewhere else. Ooh, Capricorn. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. I see why you need to chill. Well, okay, look. I know when y'all get backed into a corner, it's just a done daughter. So, like, hey, try to defuse that situation. If it's as spicy as I thought it was, like, please try to chill because... We don't need that. We don't need that. And y'all get real effective when when people piss you off. So we don't want none of that, okay? We don't we don't want you to put that that energy on somebody else. I feel like last month I was saying that. Don't don't gas off. 
it's not worth it. You got shit you got to do. What you can do is calmly tell this person or thing that they need to, to, to get themselves together before you do it for them. That's what I'm saying with this clean it up card. Clean that shit up. I feel that. Damn. Fire. Oh. Mm. You know what it is? This magician. And because you're looking at this damn magician really crazy, which BT does. I'm a Virgo. I don't hate on a magician. Sometimes I'd be heavy in my magician energy. But this person is over here fucking around doing a gang of shit and you giving them a bunch of chances. They probably been doing this shit or whatever, pissing you off. And you're like, okay, I've been resting. I've been chilling. I haven't said shit. And now you're like, okay. And I feel like it's kind of like if they do this shit one more time, it's a wrap. And pop their ass. Damn. And you really trying to stay balanced about it. But okay, let's see. Is this person going to try Capricorn again? And then they just going to have to kick him out or some shit? Because at first it was like, ooh, maybe I'll leave. But then like you're like, wait, I don't need to leave. That's too hasty. You need to leave. Mm. Okay. FY, the King of Swords is an attorney. Usually Libra energy, but I'm not feeling that shit. But So you got that, right? And you got the Queen of Cups is connected to this King of Swords, right? But it's kind of like this, almost like the King of Swords is protecting this Queen of Cups. So let's say it's a roommate situation. And you're like, look, I'm going to slice your ass up. And you like got the Queen of Cups behind you. Doesn't, we're not talking gender or anything like that. It's talking like the person who can really debone somebody in a conversation. They're over here defending this Queen of Cups from this Queen of Swords who's on this emperor shit, like really up their own ass, like super up their own ass. Like they don't even, you know the people that like go in hot and they want to talk a bunch of shit because they think they got all the cards. They don't like that kind of shit. Like, uh, like I get, I get the vibe that this person is talking a whole lot of shit before really even knowing what's going on. And like, you already know the whole situation, but you're just over here letting them talk. And they think that maybe they're getting it edgewise. Oh, yeah. Maybe someone thinks that, like, okay. Let's say someone is talking S about this Queen of Cups person, right? And you all all live together. So the, the Queen of Swords is talking S on the Queen of Cups. King of Swords is like, right, right. Mm -hmm. Word, really? They doing that shit? Really? Mm -hmm. Crazy. That's crazy. So that happens and you're like, and you're listening. You're like, yeah, this motherfucker got to go. Wow, I'm cursing so much. I feel like maybe people are sick of this with sheltering in place. Like, was everyone wilding out? Oh, yeah. Because we got the King of Swords and the Knight of Swords. The King of Swords, he does battle and stuff like that, but he ain't got to fight as much. This knight will run up and slice your ass up quick, though. So that's why I'm thinking that it's just like, yeah, once this person starts that shit, they not going to be ready. Hmm. Maybe you're going to tell some, maybe you're going to be like, you got this amount of days or some shit. I don't know. Maybe if it's a roommate thing, y'all got a lease and you like, fuck this lease. Either I'm leaving or you leaving. Wheel of Fortune. Similar situation may have happened before. Could be, oh, you know, this could be the end of a karmic loop. So this person, yeah. It's the end of a, <laughs> you go, shit. <laughs> I say that, right? And you see my reaction with each one I flipped, right? You're going to be like, sis, you crazy. Three tens. Three tens. Mentally. Ideologically. Emotionally. You're done. You're done. The wheel has been spun on that situation. This spins in your favor. Yeah. You done carrying the weight of this situation. You done thinking about this shit to the point where it's affecting you. And you just want to be happy. You're like, fuck it. <sighs> dang, Capricorn. Dang. That was very, very, very intense. Uh, this is why I just keep to myself. That's why I just keep to myself. I try to stay low drama with it. Because Whoever mess with you, <laughs> they not real good at assessing the threat at all, are they? Not at all. 
bad threat assessment. Okay. I'm gonna get into these like other oracle cards. Damn, Capricorn. And why do I feel like you're just gonna deal with them efficiently? Cause you have other things that are way more important that you did not plan on even even encountering this person. You're like, bitch, I ain't even. I need to calm down after this reading. This might be the last one I do today. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I do know this person tried it. Oh my God. You must have really been trying. You, you were really trying to. Okay, whatever you're working hard on, unrelated. Whatever you're working hard on, you're going to get that recognition for. Let's see what it's about. Oh. You know what it is? Someone's going to be like, hey, they're going to go back and be like, you always have my back. You're always solid, this, this, and that. So maybe if you, maybe. Okay. You might be thinking of the good times with someone, with friends, roommates, your partner. And there may have been a moment where like you were probably worried about what was gonna happen. Or maybe they were, maybe they just felt like, that's so funny. Uh, maybe they felt like, I, okay. Normally I would read this as one person but I'll read this as two people. Like one person really felt defeated and the other person was like, oh, hell no. Nah. <laughs> and as a result, this happened. Victory and success. But I think it's kind of like, because it's recognition and reward and the memories of love is that I feel like maybe you're you're taking these things. You're So it's like, if it's words of affirmation or quality time, you're taking these two things and you're adding it to this situation so that this person can heal. So if it's part of a partnership, it's so you can heal that whole situation and y'all can together deal with whatever this fucking outside force is. That's for some of y'all. Um, ooh. That's so sweet. That made me feel warm. Okay. Um, let's do one more and then I'm, I'm going to be done with y'all. Yours don't want to come out. Um, what is the secret surprise that Capricorn gets at the end of this? Destiny. I guess I'm not supposed to tell you what you get at the end of this. It sounds like it was all fated to happen. You know. You know what's up mentally. Emotionally. It's, it's all like... Because uh, like, look at her eyes. Or if you can kind of like see her, like look at her, you know, like there's all these different versions of kind of like looking away and then it all aligns and comes together. So I almost feel like, you know, you know how things are going to pan out. Y'all need me to tell you, but you do know that you're on the right track. But keep kicking ass, Capricorn. Don't don't let the little drama distract you from the other shit you got to do because the little drama just keeps it interesting, but... You know, it was all fun and games until that person was taken away from that time you needed to spend on your pentacles. Then you were like, up. So, you know, it was getting bad. So, good luck to them. I'm sure you'll help them pack or move on out your life if they need to. And you'll be real nice about it. So, you'll be like, no, I'll pack that box. And they'll be like, oh, it doesn't fit. And then you'll make sure to take the item and force it into the box as hard as possible so it fits. Please try not to be mean. Um... Not saying y'all are, but I mean, you don't always need to treat people in kind. You can just tell them to go. <laughs> That's it, though. Have a great September, and uh, thanks for watching. Add me on all the things. Have a good one, okay? Bye.